Whew, she's a windy, windy, cold day. So we're gonna be uh, doing our, uh, well, we already started our third row. Um, I'm not gonna show you how we're doing it because uh, I'd show you, but then I'd have to kill you. Um, but I'll show you when we're done. It's, um, yeah, it's tough, but we got a little system that works. So I <laughs> uh, wish I could show you, but I, I can't. We got the, the lift rigged up to hold the, the sheets against the wall brown side out so we can just lift them on this way um but yeah we just spin them up using the benches put them up on the lift and uh go up and uh put them on we, i i raised the lift to the let right to the to the level um we sit the sheet on and screw it off we we have two foot centers here and you see the the joints they're staggered and they're they're actually positioned where they are for a reason as well you don't go because they're a butt joint right this is what we call a butt joint uh bevel joint is this bevel right with this bevel oh we missed a screw here um that's a bevel joint and then this is a butt joint right we call it butt joints you need to have at least 32 inches of spacing on either side of a butt joint for the taping um that's also a reason why Laydowns are terrible. I, I honestly, I hate laydowns. Um, they're the worst. They're slow, and uh, I just I hate everything to do with it. But it, it's like because the studs got twisted when the grade beams dropped and the ground sank, uh, we had to uh, do it this way because we only have like 48 inches on the butt, so we can move uh, it up the second layers and third or the rows either way to 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 make up for the the twists and the studs right the change if we went stand-ups <clears throat> there'd be like opportunities to misses all the way up right it wouldn't it, it just it doesn't work that very well so we would decided to go lay down uh it takes a long lot more time it's 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 not fun putting 12 foot sheets up on the lift uh yeah so it's so horrible absolutely horrible but this is how you do it anyways uh, make sure you have those joints staggered enough so that the butt joint can be taped. You know what's really, really cool? You know how you know you did a really good job? Is when you get to the top and all your sheets, like your line, even up there, is like mint perfect, which ours is. So it's uh, really, uh, really, really awesome. That's why it's so important to do proper layout on your first strip. Okay, so finding the low side finding uh the layout uh, thinking about it ahead of time right so uh we have an eight foot sheet or a split eight on this end okay and we have a 10 foot sheet or a split 10 foot on this side do you understand so 10 foot or a split 10 foot on this side and then uh eight or a split eight on that end with three twelves in the middle so you got to think about all that. You got to be smart with your board, right? So yeah, this is a uh, double layer anyways. Um, we're getting up to the tops on this wall. I'll do another episode on the, the, the tops and hopefully, and if there's anything I can remember, if I forgot or whatever, uh, just to go over one more video on this uh, double layering. So yeah, it's pretty different anyways. Um, I think on uh, what I'm gonna do for the other side, is there's special screws you can buy um, that are like special screws that are called uh, board, board to board screws. So I can use them in the bevels, right? The laydowns are taking too long to do. Um, it's taken us uh, like nine hours to do 40 sheets. So nine hours to do 40 sheets, that's uh, uh, should, uh, that's like th twice as long as it should take. Um, it should should we should have 80 sheets done in nine hours. But um, so yeah, laydowns are twice as slow. Cool. So yeah, it's uh, it was quite a mess going in and around here, but we got it. You see how we did that? Just around the the C channel there. Um, but see even at the top we still on the second layer cut up and into the I-beams as well like so um, Man holding those 12 foot sheets up on the like 12 foot sheets on the lift is totally unnatural 
and uh, we like watch we drop one when you drop something when you're up at heights you don't try to catch it you just let it drop okay because when you try to catch it you're gonna hurt some so hurt yourself and uh, that's no good so it's just a piece of material uh, we'll still use it I'm gonna cut tops out of it so it's not a total waste um, I can use uh, you know I can use a lot of it the only piece I, I don't, I'm not gonna use is this little cut piece so uh, for when I do my tops that's uh, all gonna be used up laydowns uh, produce a lot more waste than uh, stand-ups too like this is all the waste which is still pretty good for 3,000 square feet of drywall 3,000 square feet of drywall that's all the waste because uh, when you're a pro when you're a pro you know how to do your layouts and check your boards to make sure you're fitting them properly right so your eights and your, your splitting eights your tens or whatever right your six your twelves uh, you you got to do your layout so you don't have any waste so yeah it's pretty good we're we're uh we're done for today so uh gonna wrap up i just want to show you uh, the progress and yeah lay downs uh double layer lay downs we're gonna start doing stand-ups now i got a special type of screw for laminating board to board so i don't have to worry about the joints anymore and uh, i'm going back to stand-ups because this lay down crap takes way too long Yay, lots of fun. So if you're new to Chris Conkle Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. YouTube thinks you might like this video right here, so give it a watch. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Um, I'm going to put a playlist for you guys to catch up uh, just below here. Uh, this is Chris. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs>